So welcome to another JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to log something to the console and remember how in the first tutorial I showed you about using the developer console in Google Chrome but let me show you that again so in Google Chrome when you go into tools and then developer tools no sorry JavaScript console this I said things can pop up in here so it can say user clicked on this button or user was directed to this page or a variable has a new value and then it might say the value or it could tell you basically everything that's going on in the program and this is very good for bug reporting so if the user has an issue you can tell them just to copy and paste everything that happened in the console send it to the developer and the developer can read that and figure out what the problem is and you can also do, do it for seeing things like what users are doing and stuff like that so I'm just going to close this so if we want to put something in that little console area we just do console.log simple uh, function and then speech marks then uh, hello this is, is a log now this console.log it, it's not a proper function but this is something that Google Chrome can understand and I think there's a plugin called Firebug for Firefox uh, but still I'd recommend use Google Chrome and Firebug uses the same uh, uses the same function so you'll be fine whatever platform you're using so now if we run this in Chrome and obviously we don't see anything because nothing's actually happening in our program it's just logging something to the console tools uh, JavaScript console hello this is a log so it worked so if we want to log something else we can just log a few other things uh, by the way, if you're wondering, to get like a load them that quickly, I just do control and D. That just duplicates the line. Hello, this is another log. Uh, this is a third log. This is a fourth log. Just like that. So now if I go into run in Google Chrome, and then we go into our tools, JavaScript console again. Drag that up because it's hidden for some reason. And then it says, hello, this is a log, and it just repeats all of those things. And here, this is just saying 6.html, so that's saying the file name that it's in, and then colon, and then the line number. So you see it 9, 10, 11, 12. You see it's 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's good for telling you where. Um, that code has been run. Where whereabouts in the code is being told to run this command, this console.log. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next tutorial.